All right, Braves fans. Bottom of the first, leading off the 92 Braves, the newest member of the Braves Hall of Fame, number 29. That's a major league puck fly, a little bit too high, one out from the 92 team. Now batting for the 92 team, number one, Otis Nixon. In short. Nice souvenir 
alumni softball souvenir. said 92 was home team. Oh, they are there in the white. Okay. Yeah. Good little rip, that's a pitcher. And John Smoltz with the assist and the out. That's three down. But the above 19 put three on the board makes it five to nothing. Again, Braves fans, we just walked in. This is the Braves alumni game. 45 minute game. 45 minute game. Just about 25 minutes left in this game. This is the time for the 92 team to really step it up and to not be shut out. Number 36, Mike Malecki. And a line drive catch. All right, let's turn back to Pete May Weir with a very special guest. Hey, got Otis Nixon here. Part of the 1992 championship team and a guy who made maybe the best catch we ever saw over at Fulton County Stadium and I guess you never get 
glad to hear about that. We need some runs right now because it's disappointing to get It's your day. No, it's, it's always fun to be back in this. We, got, we do need a run. It's good to be back with all my teammates. If they score five runs, I would love them to death. Go Braves. Thank you, Ellis. <laughs> Damn, exactly what just happened there? What is going on? Uh, Rob Carr trying to talk to the said, I think somebody might have done something that we can't remember. I don't know much we're talking here. Right, let's go see exactly what happened out here. Alright, how you feel? What, what just happened? What's going on? Give him a prayer! 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 So apparently the he's own excuse can work today. <laughs> On the board. Mike will let you in the long ball. And if Mark Wallace is not sitting in, after today's game, if you're not cheap, you're not trying. That puts the 92 team on the board. Just catch the force. 
Walk with a great hit earlier today. He's pitching around it. He's pitching right now.
Zidbury calling his shot.
Mike Malucky in the plate. Long ball, is it going to be deep enough? Yeah. No! Good throw in the glove up, Trey Dunn, now we're getting a home run. We're still in the game. Woo! Bear with Dunn's ball, Scott. What's the strategy here for this final inning? We got to get it over the fence like they've been, they've been doing. Uh, we're not out yet. This team has a lot of fight. Give the fans an idea of what yesterday was like for you from start to finish. Well, it was undescribable. The fans have been incredible in this city, and certainly the emotions of seeing your jersey go up with some of the greatest players in Braves history, and then the fans and the support. I was hoping to get it out and concise a message of thank you to so many people who had an impact in my life. Good luck in this game. We've only got a couple of outs to go. I know. We gotta, we gotta kick it in here. Pete Smith with the long ball, but it wasn't enough. Over the fence, grab one down. Now batting number 43, Mark Wolves. <laughs> Curtis Pride with the ESPN play of the day catch. Look out, Blue Jays! The umpire is calling the home run. The 92 team calling the home, calling the, uh, calling the, the alumni team calling the out. But let's get the official decision because he made it over the fence. He still made the catch, and that is. Home run But they make up the rules as we go along, so it is. A home run. It's a home run. It's a home run. All right, that must count as a home run. <laughs> I think there are no rules, and the umpire is having as much fun as the players are. As we want to. 
today. A home run with Lynn, a little bit of cheating as well. He looked at it. It's not. 